Hey, what's good? It's Andrew from TravelingGuitarist.com. Today I'm talking to you guys about guitar modeling amps. So a guitar modeling amp, it's an amplifier that uses digital circuitry to imitate the most popular amplifier cabinet combinations, whether they're solid state or vacuum tube amps. So this is a common example of a, a guitar modeling amp. This is the Line 6 Spider 2, I believe. I believe that's the model. This is the one that I have at my uh, parents' house back home. It's probably one of the, I think it's like the second amplifier I ever got. Um, but these are these are amps that have really become popular over the last two decades. I, th I believe it first started with Line 6 and their pod system. And that's not really a guitar modeling amp. That's more of a, an amplifier modeler. Notice how they like switch the words around. An amplifier modeler. That's a pod system or, or it's some other external device that uses digital circuitry to like process the guitar signal, which is then sent into a, a guitar amplifier or a speaker system or a computer system. Whereas a guitar modeling amp, it's kind of like an, an amplifier, excuse me, a regular amplifier where the digital circuitry is built right into the, into the speaker cabinet combination. So that's the difference between the two. I just want to illustrate that, and I'll probably explain that again later. Um, so as I just said, you got the di you, you got different kinds of amplifier modelers. You have this. This is an amp modeler. This is a Line Six Pod. This is the one that I have. This one is probably, I think it's like 20 years old. Like it's very old. Um, I believe. I believe this one's from like 2005 or 2006. I bought it on eBay a few years back and it still works and, and I actually l enjoy using it a lot. It's pretty cool. I like all the effects on it and the different amp models that are right on it. I use it. It's great. I enjoy it. And then you have like your modeling amps, which is like this. Now this is a head. So that means you would attach this to a cab, but this is like, this is more of a, a modeling amp rather than a amplifier modeler. You know, there's a difference between the two. In terms of other examples, like you have the Line 6 Spider series, or a Fender Mustang, or a PV Viper, or uh, a, a Yamaha TR, THR-10X, I believe it's called. But essentially, these are just, like the long and short of it is that, you know, amplifier modelers, they're just, they're not, they're not traditional amps. You know, they're, they use a lot of digital circuitry to have built-in effects, and an amp modelers built right into it so you can imitate like a Marshall stack or you can imitate a uh, I don't know like a an orange amp or you can imitate like a Mesa boogie rectifier and so on and so forth whereas like a, a traditional amp it's like pretty pretty straightforward it's just like a it's just an amplifier and a speaker and that's kind of it and you plug your guitar in it and that's it any effects that are added to it are added uh, via some other external device like analog stomp boxes, also called guitar pedals, or uh, an amplifier modeler such as the pod. So, you know, there's a, there's a, a few reasons why people are using these nowadays, and that's because one such example is that they're light. You know, they're very easy to use. You can take them with you everywhere. But that's not the primary reason. I mean, the primary reason is that they're just so unbelievably convenient. You know what I mean? Like it's so small. It's so, they're so handy. They have so many effects built into it. There's so many amp modelers built right into it. They're just incredibly versatile and they're so, and they're, they're just great to use if you're, if you're, you're looking for convenience and you're looking for something that kind of performs more than one function. Not only that, but you don't need like this huge amp combo in your room. Um, but with that said, there is like a sacrifice in quality in terms of the sound. Like even though a modeling amp or an amplifier modeler, they're great, they sound awesome. They still don't really compare in sound to an actual tube amp. You know, like if you have a real tube amp and it's it's big and it's got you got the big stack and everything, it's hard to beat that. And it's it's hard to beat analog stomp boxes. Like like go go do yourself a favor and try like a like a coarse stomp box, like a, like an actual analog coarse guitar pedal or a phaser or a flanger, and then compare that to like a plug-in, like a plug-in version of the same thing. I mean, there's just no comparison. The analog sounds a lot better. The, the actual stomp box, it sounds so much better. Um, but, 
you know, essentially you're, you're making a trade off in terms of quality and you're making a trade off in terms of convenience. So it's like, how much quality do you want to sacrifice for convenience and, you know, being lightweight and being very useful to have and being very easy to carry around with you and, and adding to your setup quickly. Um, so in terms of some examples of, of that, like you have, uh, here's like a line six pod HD 500 X. This is kind of like the updated version of the line six pod. So there's a lot more amps on it and there's more effects and it just kind of has a cooler look to it. On the other hand, you have something like the switchblade 100, which is kind of like, which is a, a modeling amp, but it's, it's also has tubes in it as well. And a lot of these companies are doing that now. They're combining like tube vacuum tube technology with digital circuitry, which is definitely a common thing. To be completely honest, I actually don't like this Hughes and Kettner amp. And I remember buying it. I spent a lot of money for it and just being kind of disappointed with the way it sounded. But then again, this was like 10 years ago when I bought it and used it. So frankly, I probably didn't even know how to dial it in properly or how to use it the way that it should be used. So, you know, at some point in time in the future, when I move into a bigger apartment, I'm definitely going to get this bad boy out again and experiment with it and get it to sound better. Just with uh, what I know now and, you know, how to set things up now, I think I think I could do a lot better job of, uh, you know, utilizing its features and, and its capabilities. But yeah, you know, guitar modeling amps and modeling amplifiers are, these are all the rage now, especially with things like the, like the fractal axe FX. And the, the amazing thing about these things is that they're not even that expensive. Like, I mean, $2,000, well, that's, you say that's expensive, but I mean, it's really not like it's a, it's, it's quite the device. There's a lot of effects. There's a lot of amps built into it. Like they're really, I think they're pretty amazing in terms of what they can do. And, you know, they're so versatile and they're, they're just very, like if you're, if you're serious about having a lot of effects and a lot of good stuff and, you know, having a lot of amps and really just you're serious about computer recording and having a home studio, I definitely recommend getting something like this. Um, because I don't know, you're just not going to go wrong. Uh, the, the only downside of using this digital technology is that, you know, if you go and sell it sometime in the future, like it's almost, it's almost lost its value completely. It's like a car. You know what I mean? If you, if you compare like a, like a, an, uh, fractal audio axe F, uh, axe FX in comparison to like a, a Marshall stack. I mean, it's just not the Marshall stack is going to retain its value. You're going to be able to sell that thing for a good price for a long time in comparison to a Kemper or an axe FX. I can barely even say that it's a tongue twister where, you know, you, you buy it and then you sell it a couple of years later for like a fraction of the price, just because, you know, the computer technology is advancing all the time that, um, they, it quickly becomes out of date. But anyway, I hope that helped illustrate what a guitar modeling amp is. Um, you know, essentially it's just an amplifier that uses digital circuitry and computer technology to imitate amp and cab, cab combinations rather than a regular amplifier, which is like, uh, you know, it's just a standard amp where it's just like a speaker and you plug it in and that's it, you know. But anyway, I hope that helped illustrate some of these things to you. And, uh, you know, I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, make sure to like and subscribe if this was helpful to you. Anyway, see you later.